Number 70, Integrated Concepts, Letter A. Suppose you start working out on a Stairmaster producing power at the same rate as climbing 116 stairs per minute. Assuming your mass is 76 kilograms and your efficiency is 20%, how long will it take your body temperature to raise one degree Celsius if all other forms of heat transfer in and out are balanced? All right, so first thing is uh, they give us efficiency, all right, and they're also telling us that we are producing uh, power at the same rate as climbing 116 stairs per minute. So we could look that up in the textbook, and this is the power uh, of climbing 116 stairs per minute, 680, uh, 685 watts, that is. So what I can do is I can uh, write this equation down that efficiency is going to be equal to the useful, the useful, how do I spell that? There we go. No, useful, there you go, useful power output, okay, divided by then the total power output. What's going on with my brain today? I'm not really sure. Uh, multiplied then by 100. All right. So if you plug in your efficiency as a percentage, you have to also uh, include that 100. So I can calculate this now. I can calculate the total power that's being outputted by the body. All right. So the useful uh, was going to be 685 watts divided by, I'll call this P sub T, multiplied by 100. All you have to do to solve this algebraically is literally just cross multiply the total power and the 20, and then just take out your handy dandy calculator and calculate that. So this is 685 divided by 20 times 100. And that works out to be now that the total power output by the body is going to be 3,425 watts. Now this total power that is being output by the body is not all used to generate heat, nor is all of it used to generate useful power to actually climb the stairs. A fraction of this power is used as useful power. That's the 685. And then the other remaining fraction of that total power, in other words, the 80% is used to increase the heat or the temperature of your body. So in other words, the heat power then, P sub H, is going to be the difference between the total power, 3,425, and the useful power, 685. Write the difference between those two. And that means that, why did I multiply them? 3425 minus 685. What is going on with me today? <laughs> it's one of those days, you know what I mean? So 2,000, there we go, 2,740 watts. Okay, now this is the heat, uh, excuse me, this is the rate at which heat is being input to increase your body temperature. Now, when we want to find how long it's going to take, we now have to use our other equation, okay? The rate of heat transfer. We can use this formula over here on the right-hand side that the amount of heat it takes to raise the temperature of a certain material is equal to the mass of that material multiplied by the specific heat of the material multiplied by the change in temperature of that material. Now, instead of just calculating the heat, I can calculate the rate of heat transfer by dividing both sides by time, right? Um, whatever I do to the left-hand side, I can do to the right-hand side. So this is still going to be a true equation. But what we realize now is that this Q over T is power, all right? And since we're talking about raising the temperature of an object, this is known as the power that's required to raise the temperature or the power dedicated to heat. So this is going to be the mass of the body multiplied by specific heat of the body multiplied by the change in temperature of the body all divided by time. The time it takes, by the way, to raise the temperature. All right, one degree Celsius in this problem. So just simply cross multiply these two so I can find the time and then just substitute. So now the mass of the body was 76 kilograms, the specific heat of the body. You need to know that it's roughly 3,500. Okay, the change in temperature then, it says it's going to increase by one degree Celsius, so that's just a one. Divide it then by the power over here, so 2,740. And we're now going to find our time. I'll plug it in up at the top. So it's going to be 76 times 3,500, all being divided by 2,740. So about 97. So 97 point, I guess, three sig figs. Right, 97.1 it looks like. Uh, and that would be in terms of seconds. And that's how long it would take. 
And then part B is, is this consistent with your experience? Uh, sure. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. We'd love to help you with more problems. Take care.